Going into the Big 12 tournament, the KU women's basketball team was on the bubble for making the NCAA tournament. After coming off a big road win at Oklahoma, the team had to refocus against the defending national champion Texas A&M Aggies in the quarterfinal matchup of the Big 12 tournament. Both KU and A&M started the game red hot from the field. Senior Aisha Sutherland had 12 points on five field goals in the first half and led the Jayhawks to a 25-20 lead at the under-8 media timeout. The Jayhawks out-rebounded the Aggies by eight in the first half, but allowed A&M to finish the half on a 7-0 run to take a 32-30 lead into the locker room. The second half was a much different story. A&M shot 57% from the field and was 3-for-3 three three from downtown. Freshman guard Alexia Standish connected on six three-pointers and was the game's leading scorer with 25 points. For Kansas, Angel Goodrich finished the contest with 21 points, including four threes and nine assists. Goodrich says all season long the Jayhawks have tried to strike first. Our mindset is always to go in and, and attack first. And when they attacked us, we didn't answer back. So that's just in this league, you have to get an answer. Offensive rebounds helped the Texas A&M Aggies to a win tonight over the Jayhawks for the third time this season. With the loss, KU now leaves its chances of making the NCAA tournament up to the NCAA selection committee. Coach Bonnie Henriksen believes her Jayhawks have still earned a trip to go dancing. We finished sixth in the best league in America, and when we, we go eight and ten, and we're, we've got four top 50 RPI wins, and two of those are on the road. The Jayhawks won't find out until tomorrow night whether they're in the field of 64 or will be playing in the NIT tournament this year. If the Hawks make it, it will be their first NCAA tournament appearance in 12 years. It's sure to be one more long day for the KU women's basketball team. Matt Gasper, Jayhawk Sports Talk.